Do you remember the iPhone commercial where Apple had an iPhone 13 precariously placed on the edge of a table? It was about ready to drop and they said, don't worry about having a case on your iPhone anymore. Apple lied to us. When I bought my shiny new iPhone 14 Pro Max one terabyte, I believed the hype and I said, you know what? I'm not gonna put a case on this phone. Not a big deal. It can't break, right? Well, it happened, it broke. And honestly, I don't even remember dropping the thing. But at any rate, the damage was done, so I had a big brain moment and I thought, all right, well, even though it's already cracked, I might as well get a case just so it doesn't get any worse, right? So I went to Amazon and I searched iPhone 14 Pro Max case. One day shipping? This is ridiculous. Prime now. Give it to me now. When I press buy, put the item in my hand. But then I had a real big brain moment and I said, you know what? I've got a 3D printer behind me. Why don't I just 3D print a phone case? How hard could that be? So I fired up Fusion 360 on my desktop. I started rapidly designing and prototyping. And all right, so actually I just, I just kind of sat there for a little while staring at the screen because I didn't know where to start. This is actually kind of hard to design something like this. And then I realized I don't even know the size of this thing. How do I figure out the dimensions? I don't have any tools to do that. So I had another big brain moment and I 3D printed some calipers. With my trusty calipers in hand, I knew that I could simply measure the dimensions of the phone screen and come up with a solid design. Then I realized, wait, I bet dozens of other people have already done this work. Somebody has surely designed one of these phone cases. So I headed over to Thingiverse and I did a simple search. Sure enough, here was the perfect iPhone 14 Pro Max case. And in fact, it could be printed out of a material that I've got laying around called TPU. TPU, as everyone knows, is a thermoplastic polyurethane flexible printing material. I knew that. I knew it was flexible at least, all right? Now with all my major problems solved, I loaded up the TPU into the 3D printer. I fired up my Prusa slicer and sent the file over to be 3D printed. Now I knew my phone case would be done in just a matter of, it's, it's gonna take like three hours. I'm gonna do for three hours. Um, Three hours later, my trusty TPU case was complete. And while it's not exactly perfect, there are some spots on here that could be better. There's a little bit of stringing. There's some blobs in places, but it's not bad and it's really flexible. Check this thing out. I can literally bend and twist this any direction pretty awesome and the moment of truth would it fit on the phone not bad That didn't break anymore.